All right, so just a kind of a quick how-to video, I guess you can call it. Got an XL12, manual oiling only. The manual oiler is not working. We're gonna fix it real quick. Alrighty, sit tight. All right, so we need to pull the plunger out right here. All right, this particular one takes a half inch wrench. All right, so here it is. The, the, this one, this particular one fits so tight into this hole, it was a little rough getting it out, but I got it out. Uh, just be careful that your spring doesn't go flying across the room and you lose it. But as you can see here, there's an O-ring. See the O-ring? We need to change that out. And this is covered in Looks like sawdust and debris. We're gonna have to clean that all off. Now, let's get our O-ring off. But first, we wanna pull the spring. I'm just gonna do a little twisting and a little pulling until it comes off. So there's the spring. Let's get this O-ring off. This o ring can be rough to get off. Alrighty, now we need to find a replacement. I got some an assortment here, so let's see if we can find out and find one out of this assortment. That looks like a good match. Yep. Let's slip the new one on. Well, let me clean some of this dirt off first. Let's get our new one on. This is where it's fun. Because you get this little hump to get over. If you're like me, it's hard to hold on to tiny things. Just kind of got to get worked around that hump. And boom, there she is. One new O-ring. Simple as that. Now from here, I'm just gonna install the spring. But my, all I had to do is push it down in until she clipped into place. I'm gonna reinsert it. Screw it down. Tighten it up. And we should have an operational manual oiler again. Let me see here. Here, can you hear it? It's working. So that's all there is to it. So that's all there is to usually, so that's usually all there is to fixing the manual oiler on these. Just a uh, simple O-ring replacement. Um, just be careful. Sometimes that spring's not locked into place and it wants to fly across the room. So just be careful there. Um, I used a quarter inch O-ring. And I should say quarter inch inside diameter, uh, three eighths outside diameter. It's the size of O-ring I used. So I can hear it popping. I forgot, um, there's also check valves, but I've never had to change a check valve. I've never had one go bad. So it, it could be possible that there's a check valve problem, but I would always start with the O-ring. You know what I mean? But uh, just keep that in mind, that there are check valves. A lot of saws have check valves, um, but I've never had to fix one. I've never had to change one myself. So just keep that in mind. Alrighty, till the next one.